Welcome to Shadows of Prophecy, a D&D real play podcast following the ill-omened web of lives whispered by the void, their names repeated in the darkness. Shadows of Prophecy is a Dungeons & Dragons podcast with violent themes and adult language. Listener discretion is advised. With us today to traverse through adventures of worry and discomfort, we have myself, Timothy, as our ambivalent DM. I'm Kendrick, and I play the fighter of family, the searcher of fern, Yonsei Bay. I'm sorry, worry and discomfort? I didn't know how real it was getting today. (laughs) Uh, I'm Russell, and I'm playing Blades. A heart of gold, but a scowl that'll make any hand of cards fold. I'm Nicole, playing Sorelli Chambers, professional spirit hunter with mostly accurate visions. (laughs) (laughs) Join us as we enter the Shadows of Prophecy. Act 1. In the Shadows, Chapter 12, Overgrowth. Previously on Shadows of Prophecy, the Sorelli siblings traversed through the thick of the enchanted forest, guided by a looming entity. They located the treehouse, home of the strays, where they were welcomed with open arms by Meredith Waters. After hearing their story and confirming Sorelli's gift, she introduced them to a now reclusive Yonsei. And after some convincing and dreadfully deep emotions, they agreed to yet again set off into the enchanted forest in search of Upri. Quickly getting lost and encountering some gnolls, Blades nearly died to some quicksand, (laughs) and Sorelli now finds herself (laughs) trapped in a temporal anomaly. (laughs) How will we rescue her? Find out on Shadows of Prophecy. And that's what you missed last time on Glee. Okay, Ugh. don't get us canceled. Uh, <laughs> so, Sorelli, you have been heading off towards this weird circle of mushrooms with warbling stuff towards it and you are reaching out. As you start to reach towards the mushroom, you notice that everything around you starts to blur and flicker, like motion blurs, where everything is just like flitting around quickly and quickly and quickly, and you start to see the sun setting and then rising again, which brings us back to Yonsei and Blades. You are currently watching Sorelli frozen in place. What do you do? Does she do this often? Uh, mm, kind of, actually. I don't think she's having a vision, though. Sorelli, darling, can you hear us? Can I hear them? You hear blurts of sounds throughout this whole time, Sorelli. Nothing that you can make out. Hmm. Am I able to move at all? So we'll get to you in a moment. Okay. <laughs> uh, Yonsei and Blades have to make some decisions. Yonsei is going to walk up to Sorelli and put his hand in front of her. Hello. Hello. So Yonsei starts to move towards Sorelli. And as Yonsei does this, Blades, you see... Yonsei starts approaching Sorelli, and as he gets closer, he begins to move slower and slower and slower until you see the two of them frozen in space. Um, Yonsei never quite reaching Sorelli. Uh, um, damn. Uh, um, um, er. You better not run. <laughs> that was in voice. You better not run. Oh, 
no, how do we get out of this? Is this another quicksand situation? Blades, what are you doing? I'm going to tie one end of my rope to an arrow. All right. No, I'm going to tie a loop. Oh, God, that's so bad. <laughs> uh, I'm going to tie a lasso okay. onto an arrow. Uh-huh. Can I try to shoot it where I can, like, <laughs> get it around one of them? All right. Oh, my. Uh, make an Without attack strangulating. Roll. <laughs> make an attack roll. Hey, that's sexy. <laughs> what? Ew, she's my sister. <laughs> What's wrong about me? Uh. <laughs> oh, no. You're really going to get us canceled. <laughs> I'm so worried. Uh, dirty 20. A dirty 20. Okay. So you take your lasso and you throw it towards Sorelli. And you see that it starts flying through the air and begins to slow. And it now hovers above Yancey and Sorelli. Not quite reaching them. Uh, oh, oh dear. That's not good. So can I tell if it's coming, like, from the mushroom, the circle? Give me an arcana roll. Plus one. Okay, that's not awful. <laughs> Four. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is. Um, I mean, so visually, there's this, like, ring of mushrooms, and it's all warbly there. So you can tell that there is some weird arcane... <laughs> strangeness going on but you can't quite understand how it's functioning but like it's coming from there like this is weird magic geet and I run into the mushroom circle I guess all right so blades <laughs> blades, <laughs> blades and this is uh, and starts <laughs> running towards Yancey and Sorelli following suit since there is no external observer now I will explain what Sorelli sees through all of this. <laughs> this is wild. <laughs> Wait, fuck. I like what? how you saw two of us go frozen and you decided to yeet in this Naruto into it. I want to be included. <laughs> so, <laughs> Sorelli, throughout this whole experience, you've been walking towards the mushrooms. The whole time. The whole time. Well, from your perspective, it's only been a matter of seconds. Oh. <laughs> so you have walked towards the mushrooms. As the world around you starts to blur, you start hearing blurts of noise. Everything becomes incomprehensible outside the vicinity of this mushroom. You see blurs of motion and color, and the sun starts rising and setting and rising and setting and rising and setting. <laughs> days on days. And... You start to notice behind you, Yancey is slowly approaching you. And then Blades. And the three of you <laughs> are now more or less on the same timeline. What do you do? Do you continue towards the mushrooms or do you turn around to talk to them? I turn around to talk to them. All right. What do you say? Yancey, Blades, do you notice how strange the environment appears? You were frozen for a little bit there, sister. I think I think, I think we might have just walked into a little ditty bit of a trap. How do you mean? Um, <laughs> you, you, you froze completely, not moving, blinking, breathing. I've, I've... And then Yancey followed suit, and I, I felt lonely, so then I... Uh, you two are the brains of this operation. I wasn't going to get you out of it, so I felt like I should just join, you know? I think we are in some weird time distortion. Is that why the sun keeps rising and setting? I would gander or guess that that is accurate. <laughs> hmm. So it's a circle of mushrooms. It's a circle of mushrooms. I'd like to go towards one of the mushrooms and inspect it. All right. Can we? Or is it just equidistant forever? Yeah, are all of you approaching it? I don't think that's a good idea. Um, just because I feel as though if you go in, then you're going to go slower. So Yancey looks at both Blades and Sorelli and say, if you're going to do that, I will stay back just in case we end up in another time distortion within the time distortion. Well, if, that's better. <laughs> uh, Rock and roll. If we keep going, though, do you think eventually it becomes a portal? 
could it be like a black hole into another yeah, universe? But- I don't think I want to go into a black hole, though. Right. Oh, oh see, oh, my life is mostly we're, a black hole. We're getting hole, sidetracked. So. Remember, we're supposed to find the, the woman in your visions. Ah, oh, that's right. Not, not travel into another uh, time-space we, dimension. You know I like these otherworldly situations. We need to figure out a way to get out of this, because if we go closer to the time distortion, that means more time's going to pass by, which means there's less chances of finding a Brie. Oh, so, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Okay. I mean, well, let, let's turn back. Maybe it's cyclical. So we just go in there, and then all of a sudden we're back in time at the beginning, and it's a circular timeline. And then I'm just kidding. I'm not going to take <laughs> advice from someone who yeeted themselves into. Hey, you didn't see that. You were frozen in time, bitch. <laughs> oh, no. Whoa. All right. All right, you here. two. All right, you two. <laughs> so long as we don't think Upri would be. In here, I will come back and do an inspection on my own, perhaps a different time. Yeah, let's hope we can leave. I've always wanted to time travel. Can Yonsei just, like, attack one of the mushrooms to see what happens? You will have to move closer to the mushrooms to do so. How far away from I from the mushroom? shoot a ranged attack towards them. So Yonsei is going to... I feel like if I do this, it's something, something's bad is going to happen. But I'm going to cast Eldritch Blast. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you're going to cast Eldritch Blast. Okay. Subtle. Make an attack roll. Yonce is pragmatic. Kendrick loves chaos. <laughs> <laughs> that is a 25. Oh. A 25. All right, so you shoot off your Eldritch Blast. And very similar to the lasso attempt. It begins to slow as it gets closer to the mushroom, never quite reaching it. Well, that didn't work. Any other ideas? I mean, if it's some sort of time dilation, we try walking away. But clearly, lots of time is passing just mm. as we talk. <laughs> what do you think, Sorelli? Wait here, I'll be right back. And then... <laughs> Uh, Blades is just going to dash away in the opposite direction. (laughs) All right. So the two of you, Yonsei and Sorelli, you see Blades starts to walk away. And dash. As they dash further and further away, they blip out and now have blended into the blur of motion. So maybe we should go that way. It appears that way. And And Blades turns around and sees Yonsei and Sorelli are frozen. The blur of motion is gone, Blades. Put them back on the path? Um, you're kind of back on the path. Do the trees look taller in the overgrowth overgrowth year? Give me a nature check. 17. 17. It does seem like some time has passed. Shit! I run back in. Um, <laughs> no. Potentially. Um, what? I gotta tell you your words. We're nearing autumn. Oh, when do we start? Summer? Yeah. Ah! I run back in. Um, so you run back in, and as you start getting closer to them. Yeah. Um. So uh, we may have lost a few months being in here. Months? Yeah, it's going to be winter soon, so I think we should just kind of vibe until it's spring again, because I don't have shit for winter prepared and we're going to die in this fucking forest in the middle of winter. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. yeah. This this isn't this isn't good. No, no, it's not. All right, we no. already had very I'm going to count the sun and sunrises and sunsets, so. One, two, three. Oh, shit. One, two, <laughs> three, four. Oh, no. Yonsei looks at Blades and intrigued and yet utter disappointment. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what comes after 13? 17? 18, 19, <laughs> How long 20. have you been with this one? Oh, since we were about four in the orphanage. Did he think he was 17 after he turned 13? Uh, <gasps> come to think of it, I, I think he did. Aging is not the same as counting days. Oh, shit. One, two, three... Yonsei is going to walk in the direction opposite of the mushrooms just to see how much time has passed since Blades has come back. That's kind of like our time check, in a sense. Yeah. 
So you start to walk away from the mushrooms. And the two of you see Yonsei starts at a regular pace at first, but quickly just speeds up into the blur. Yonsei, you start walking away from the mushrooms. And as you do, all of the motion around you starts to slow until you notice it's winter. Snow is on the ground. It falls from the leaves of the trees in the forest. I'm going to stay there just for a moment, just because I can't deal with blades and sufferable <laughs> telling. <laughs> So Yonsei is going to do some Wusa deep breathing, 426, 426, and then they're going to head back into the blip. All right. You make your way back towards the mushrooms, and you approach. So bad news, it's only winter. Worst news, you lost count multiple times. Good news... After winter comes spring. I hate to say this, but Blades, this was actually a good idea. I also did not prepare any winter gear as well. I thought we would be still in summer when we found out Brie, but you know what? As the people say, say la vie. Is French a language in this world? <clears throat> Let's just say it's under common French. <gasps> She's speaking in tongues. <laughs> <laughs> So Yonsei is just going to sit down and just meditate, zone out, right. until it's time to go. One, two, three. How are you determining when it is time to go? <laughs> Maybe we should just keep running in and out until it's right. <laughs> Together. <laughs> All at once, yeah? All right, link arms now. All right. Worth a try. <laughs> All right, let's try it. How long are we waiting, though? I think this is good. Out we go. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm gonna go. Apparently. Yeah. All right. <laughs> you link arms. You make your way away from the mushrooms, and you notice there's still snow on the ground. Oh, back we go. <clears throat> Wait, stop! But stop. it's kind of <laughs> melted a little bit. It might be a nice warm winter day where things have kind of receded. Hard to tell. Yeah, back we go. Let's try like 10 paces in, 10 paces out, you know? Maybe that'll be like a week. <laughs> <laughs> it's not an exact science time travel, right? No, definitely not. Not Course. an exact science at all. <laughs> so, really, what do you think? Oh... I think we should we should retreat back in at least for a moment. Fine. Just ten paces? Fine, ten paces. One, two, three, four, eight, nine, ten. And then I turn around. <laughs> okay, you take nine paces in. <laughs> and you turn around. <laughs> the other two party members take an extra step. Oh. <laughs> and you feel the tension as your arms oh, no. that are locked. They pull you in the other direction. And you start heading back out. At this time... You notice new growth on the ground. The snow is gone, but no flowers. Back in we go. No, I think this is good. I but think I this is good. Okay. Yeah. It's, a, it's, it's okay a bit to be a chilly. little cold. Yeah. Probably around 50s. Yeah. What time of day is this it? This will do. You check for the sun. You're in the middle of the forest, so it's a little tricky to find. Hmm. It looks like it might be... Either early morning or late afternoon. Well, thanks. <laughs> that <laughs> narrows it down. <laughs> it's either the start or an you end of a day. You <laughs> have kind of lost track of what direction the sun would be at certain times in your confusion. So you can't tell if the sun is on its way up or down. <laughs> I mean, 10 more paces can't hurt. Let's go 11. And I look at Sorelli. 10. Okay. <laughs> All right, so you walk. One, two, five, six, seven, eight, eleven. <laughs> okay, so you walk like, what was that, five paces in? Um, 
<laughs> one, two, five, six, seven, seven, I don't know. Eight? <laughs> <laughs> you walk some faces in. Again, you confuse the hell out of your party as you reach 11 way too soon. You it's turn around. It's that blades can't count. <laughs> they pull on you as they keep going. They realize what you've done and they follow suit. When you arrive back in what is hopefully current time, present day, the forest is lush with greenery. There Perfect. are flowers blooming everywhere. Just in time for allergies. The, critters. <laughs> the, the air is thick with pollen. Yonsei <laughs> <laughs> uh, canonically does not have allergies, so... But also, does this mean a year has passed in a matter of minutes? Uh, nine, One could nine, ten months. potentially <laughs> assume so. Hopefully it wasn't just one this year. This isn't good. And it wasn't like, you know, we were actually in there a year every time to face this and then some. Like a year and two months instead of just two <laughs> months. Because if it was like a year and two months, we wouldn't be able to tell. <laughs> that is true. So it, it could be a, a little bit less than a year. It could be several in a, a few months. <laughs> Who knows? Yonsei looks at Sorelli in Blades and says, all right, enough, enough. I think we've we got it. No more walking, no more paces, no more miscounting. Let's keep going what? to the way of Ilrune. Please. Let's go. Right, yeah, it was fun. It was an interesting detour. I, I do hope that your siblings aren't worried. Oh, I'm sure they are. If we've been gone this long. Oh, I think you're dead, really. I look at Blades. <laughs> <laughs> and Yonsei just walks in the direction opposite of the mushrooms, just to get going. Wait, but is that the right way? Okay, I follow. <laughs> <coughs> All right, you start making your way away from the mushrooms. You get maybe 50 feet out, and you realize that you're kind of warbling motion has stopped. So that kind of like wishy-washiness that you were experiencing prior to coming to the mushrooms fades away. And you feel more or less normal. It's been an experience, so normal is hard to pinpoint. Hmm. But are we hungry? Do we have we aged? Have we got a full rest? For technicality. <laughs> for Sorelli, this whole snack experience every two hours. has been less Min- than a minute. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, for Blades and Yonsei, maybe like a couple minutes. Time dilation. So, yeah. Not, Interesting. Not really like hungry or anything. Okay. Who would like to make a nature check to try to figure out where the heck you are. <laughs> nature, not survival. Um, I can make a nature check. Oh, yeah, sorry, survival oh. check. I can also make a survival check. It's plus four. Plus six. Oh, nice. oh, oh wow. Plus. We're really showing. Yeah. 17. 17. So, you pause for a moment to regain your bearings. Trippy as that was, you do find kind of a break in the trees where you can locate the sun. And based on the coloration of the sky, you do realize that it is morning. Okay, so that allows you to pinpoint east, which is great. Awesome. You now know what, where east is, and it's been a while. <laughs> Does Yonsei stop to notice that Blade has discovered the way? Because mm-hmm. I, I just, I <laughs> went in a huff. You tell us. <laughs> yeah, do a perception check. 14. 14. So you huff off. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that came out weird. Huff off, mate. <laughs> <laughs> you huff off in the direction it's this hat. away from... It's, you're turning Australian, the, mate. <laughs> away from the mushrooms. And after a while, you start to notice that it's weirdly quiet behind you. So you do turn around and you see that Blades and Sorelli have stopped. You don't get too far. Maybe 20 yards. Yonsei turns around, looks at them, be like, oh, we're going that way. And follow suit. Yeah, Blades, you are able to pinpoint east. 
and you know that you were trying to go north, south, south, yeah, south. North um, is back to yeah. We're yeah, going south. We're going south, but we want to avoid the mushrooms. So south right. is kind of towards the mushrooms, right, southeast but you can it kind is. of veer away. Yeah, you can go southeast. Um, try to keep keep your distance from these mushrooms. Don't want any more um mishaps. Um, Once we travel for a few hours, I'm going to do the whole leaf in a puddle trick to tell direction. Leaf in a puddle trick? What yeah, is this? If you put a leaf in a in a still puddle or water or pool, it'll always point north. Oh, because of the magnetic and rotation and stuff like that? Yeah. Cool. This episode is sponsored by Bill Nye, the science guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's either magnetism or the rotation of the earth. I don't oh, know. Magic. Or magic, or it's just folklore that doesn't actually work. Unsure. We have not tested this. Mm. Um, But we're going to assume (laughs) that Blades knows. (laughs) I saw in that one movie, Aliens vs. Predator, because they weren't on Earth and it just spun in a circle. Things (laughs) in movies are always true. (laughs) Absolutely. Uh, so yeah, Maybe you we go on, based on the sun. <laughs> start making your way southeast. <laughs> ah. I'm rolling some Sorry. dice. It's fine. This scares me every time. <laughs> the quicksand. It's <laughs> fine. Flashbacks. You start to make your way southeast when you approach a small clearing covered in wildflowers. We go around. <laughs> no more nature. <laughs> no more clearings. No more, no more poppies. No more sand. They are not poppies. They're just are they warbling? Is there any distortion of in the air? Wildflowers, um, various shades of Do you blues want us to get to Oberon? <laughs> and you hear no a flute in the distance. That's quite lovely. They're the actually a little bit sharp. The what? They're sharp. The sharp. The sharp. The sharp. Oh, uh, did my Boston accent come said, out? Oh, it's a little bit sharp. It's a little bit <laughs> sharp. Let me take that back. It's sharp. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Yeah, you reach this clearing and... Do we see the source of the flute? Mm, you do not. Perfect. Is it coming from the east or west side of the clearing? <laughs> <laughs> did you put a leaf in it's the puddle? <laughs> coming from the... West side of the clearing. Perfect. We stick to the east side, right? All right. Yeah. Keeping keeping within the tree line, but still along the clearing to admire the beauty of the wildflowers. You know, don't want to miss out. It's Blades just like beelining it. So we're just, we have no choice but to follow. I mean, uh, you can do whatever you want. (laughs) (laughs) But Blades is just going to stick to the tree line and circumnavigate the, the clearing. I'm going as we're doing this. What is this quicksand beneath the flowers, Yancey? <laughs> I now have upset. a phobia of clearing. We're still upset. <laughs> it's only been a few hours. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a year. <laughs> True. Um, <laughs> I'm going to look at Sorelli and ask her So has Blades always been like this? And I point my hand out and just make that little swooping motion that, like, highlights all of them. Like, <laughs> just all of them. All yeah. of them. Have, have they always been like this? It, it got worse when we <laughs> left the orphanage and they began running our business. <laughs> it's all business these days. Are you sure it wasn't just running, period? Maybe a little bit of actual running. You're shady. <laughs> Keep in mind, the person that manages the money can't count. Uh, you We're know, doing I well. I never put that together. <laughs> and Sorelli, at this point, is kind of you know, like half listening, but also enjoying the flute. Still following Blades, but steps into the flowers and reaches down to, to pick a few and kind of just swaying with the flute so here here and not yeah i'm gonna assume that she stopped listening to me so yonsen like well i guess i'm talking to myself now la 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 can i just keep walking your own little tune (laughs) completely on a different like rhythm of the flute in the distance 
which is perfectly fine. And Sorelli picked some flowers. They're quite lovely. We got some cornflower in here. We got some daisies. Lots of little cute little wildflowers. I'm not sure why any of those are in a forest. They're more prairie flowers, but that's fine. I don't know what <laughs> it's forest the enchanted flowers forest. are called. Yeah, it, it can be yeah. whatever the fuck we want. Um, Suspension of disbelief. Wait, cornflowers are prairie flowers? Because they were in the, the forest on an island in the South Pacific. Sure. Continue. I don't know. Is you're, that a musical you're, reference? I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on right There's now. There's like a cup of coffee's kicking in. Just go. Uh, all right. You pick the flowers. You continue on along the side of this clearing. And you start to pass the sound of the flute. Can you give me another survival check, Blades? We're going to have to fight this damn flute. 16. 16. Okay. You... Hear the sound of the flute fading behind you. When you approach a small grove of trees, and in the center of the grove, there is one tree in particular that none of the other trees are growing near. And the trunk of the tree is black. The... Branches are gnarled, and it appears almost as if there is a face on the top. And the branches twist in a way to resemble horns. Yeah, let's walk around and walk around this one too. <laughs> in the middle of the tree. <laughs> in the middle of the trunk of the tree, there is a katana <gasps> poking out of it. Let's take a closer look for um, research purposes. You do that. I'm going to stay my ass right here. Yeah. Uh, yeah, actually, one second. You have a good point. And I'm going to knock three arrows and let them all fly. All right. Make an attack roll. We start with a nat 20, mm-hmm. a 19, and then a nat 1. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. Two hit, so roll for damage. So, oh, oh, that sucks. The first one is a math problem. Oh no, Russell also can't count. Uh, <laughs> seven damage, then ten damage, so seventeen damage total. Seventeen. All right. You shoot your three arrows. Two of them smack into the wood of the tree. You hear the thud. They lodge themselves deep into the trunk. And nothing happens. Seems safe. I strut on over to go get that katana. Wait, don't... Oh, he's going over there. Keeping an eye out for other traps, perhaps. All right, so you approach the tree. You grab the katana. I smell it first. You smell (laughs) the katana. Does it smell off? Give me a nature check. Oh, shit. Six. Six. You (laughs) smell the katana, and you smell the, like, metallic-y scent of metal. (laughs) Smells normal. I yank it out. And you grab the hilt, and you start to pull. Give me a strength check. Four. Four. (laughs) Uh, You start tugging on this katana, and it is barely budging. You can kind of slowly jiggle it back and forth, Hmm. um, but it seems quite wedged in there. Perhaps I should utilize some of the science that I know so well about. Yeah, I'm going to tie my rope around the hilt, (laughs) and then I'm going to throw the rope around a nearby tree to create a pulley. (gasps) Uh, okay. Increase the leverage, uh-huh. and then I pull the rope. I thought you were literally just going to tie a rope and pull. And no, it was like, that's no, no. Just, <laughs> just <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, so you create a pulley Science. system. Yeah. Wonderful. Now give me a strength check with advantage. And then other two of you just standing. Our, minds, our big brains. At the far end of the clearing, watching me do all this. Oh, yeah. I'm honestly just looking at Sorelli at this point. 17. 17. So you start tugging on this rope. And at first, there's quite a bit of tension. It doesn't look like it's going to budge. And then it whips out. You 
Make a oh, dexterity no. saving throw. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Plus three, okay. Ah, that's a nat one, so four. Fall right on your ass. Oh, the I katana thought... flings to the ground. I thought I was flinging the katana at myself. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> It was a trap, but you said it. <laughs> How fast can you make a new character? Um, Pretty fast. You fall on your ass. The katana flings to the ground. Uh. And you start to see, out of the trunk of this tree, a black ooze starts to seep out. Well, it's not good, but at least oh, it's not purple. No. Uh, I scoop the katana and then, all right, let's be on our way. As you run over to the katana, this ooze is pouring out. I move quicker. And <laughs> it begins to amass into a form. Oh shit, it was a plug. I'm going to need you all to roll initiative. <laughs> oh! Do I have the katana though? If you this... do have the katana. What are the stats? It's a katana. <laughs> It's I just a sword. Well enough to it's know a strength based weapon. Sell it. You would have to attune to. If it has magical properties, you would need to figure that out with some sort of means. Cool. I stole it in my pack um, and forget. I got a 12. So you're welcome to use the katana, not knowing what it does. Oh, yeah. Well, okay. Can I double hand it? Can you double hand it? Oh, no, I don't want to double hand it. Never mind. One-handed. I have a dual leading feet. I'll lose AC if I do that. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, um, blades. So a uh, typical katana does 1d8 slashing. It does have the versatile property, uh, which based. would give it 1d10. Katanas are... Yeah, strength based. Perfect. Wait, katanas so I'll throw exist. it away and sell it for later. Katanas exist in this world, but French does not. <laughs> <laughs> you know, languages are weird in this world. I just want everyone to notice katanas exist in this world. Yeah, but maybe katanas aren't inherently Japanese in this world. They're some other. It's just a sword of that shape. But say la vie can. You know what? It's like saying, you know, We're light bulbs exist. We're not adding any more languages to D&D that already exist. Because yeah. there are a million languages. <laughs> I just want the viewers to understand. Uh, the viewers? Going. Those are the ones? Yes, they can I hope see they're us, not right? viewing us. <laughs> I mean, if you are, uh, <laughs> my number is blah, blah, blah. <laughs> uh, I got a 25 for initiative. Okay. Wow. Holy Holy Plus six. Not one. <laughs> Holy beans. Um, You're really into that flute. <laughs> yeah. Really, really so into there. that flute. <laughs> it must be Lizzo. Um, so we got Whoa. 25 for Blaze. Oh no, I regret not going to see who one they're playing for the flute Sorelli. now. Yance, what did you get? I got a 12. 12. All right. I don't think Lizzo exists in D&D Beyond. Blades, she what are you doing? Uh, let's stop talking about Lizzo. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I am going She's to use... She's wonderful, but that is, that is not what we're doing here today. I'm going to use a bonus action <laughs> to cast... I'm um, right next to the, the goop, right? Yeah, you're right next to the goop. All right, I'm just going to attack it uh, three cool, times. Cool, cool. Twice with my dominant weapon, once with my offhand. 24. Does a 24 hit? A 24 does hit. What about an 11? <laughs> <laughs> I would hope so. An 11 does also hit. Oh, perfect. What about an 8? An 8 does also hit. Oh, oh. oh. I was going to ask about the two. All right. The goop is everywhere. <laughs> the goop is everywhere. <laughs> math, math, math. Math, math, math. Five. Plus four is nine plus seven. Sixteen piercing damage as I just All right. Sixteen piercing damage. You slash into it like you feel this like super viscousy sticky liquid as you are slashing into it and it's like dragging your sword through honey. Ew. Uh, it kind of splatters out as you hit it, which means it is going to amass an appendage and uh, 
try to whack down at you as you notice that its form begins to split. Who? Mm-hmm. So it is going to make some attacks. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. If you don't die by quicksand, you'll die uh, by this. So you're able to dodge one of the attacks, but the other one hits you square in the chest. You are going to take four bludgeoning damage as the ooze leaves a bit of itself on you, and you hear it start to sizzle. Uh... (laughs) Ah! You take 12 acid damage. Oh my. Um, do you, what, what is your armor? Scale. Mm-hmm. So. Only, I think at least 10 minutes to take off. Your AC is reduced by one. How dare. How fucking dare I. I built this character mm-hmm. to have broken AC, how dare I. How fucking dare I. Yonsei, what are you doing? <laughs> Yonsei's gonna look at blades and say, Blade, are you okay? No. <laughs> Please help. And with that, I've been foolish again. <laughs> you see that there is a hole in the armor where the ooze has hit. Ah, oh. it burns. Oh my god. With that, I'm going to keep my distance, but use Eldritch Blast. Does a 13 hit? It does. All right, so that's 1d10. Plus three. 13 damage. Shite. Mm. All right. And which one are you hitting, left or right? Oh, you have those two now. I'm going to hit left. You're going to hit left? Okay. You splatter it. (laughs) It's gone. Oh, okay. Cool. Oh, great. There's no splash effect on me. No splash effect. (laughs) <laughs> As Yonsei's doing that, they're going to look at Blades. Plug the hole now. Is it still oozing? It's still oozing. Oh, shit. Uh, Sorelli, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Blades, put it back. Put it <laughs> I'm back. sorry. <laughs> For once, we have enough money. Put it back. <laughs> but it just looks so cool. Okay, I'll put it back. I know. And it I smelled know. so normal. I had I, no I, idea. I, I saw you so smell normal. it and it, passed it was strange. The smell check. <laughs> it passed the smell check. <laughs> the whiff test. <laughs> uh, well, after yelling at my brother, I'm going to roll my eyes and cast a lightning bolt oh, shit. Right. on the one on the right. All right, deck save coming up. I rolled a 10. That's a fail. That's a fail. Yeah. Oh, shit. Okay. Do you need extra D6? Oh, my gosh. How many D6 is it? Eight. Eight. <laughs> Holy shit, doggy. That's a lot of ones. 15. 15. All right. It splatters. <laughs> Good. We, oh, ha- we, we have places to be. <sighs> As you look up at the tree, there is more pouring out. Ugh. I plugged the hole. Are you sure? Um, am I sure? I shove it back in. All right. So Blades <laughs> runs up to the tree. And are you taking the katana or another? The katana that okay. I'm not okay. going to use. You take the katana and you plunge it into the tree. Give me an attack roll. Oh, shit. Would strength as modifier because it's a katana? Yep. 14. 14. You go to plunge it into the tree and it deflects off the bark. You chip away at the bark and Wait, I'm trying to put it in a new hole or I missed? You missed. Um, I missed the hole. (laughs) You missed the hole. So you chip away more of the bark (sighs) and the ooze begins to pour faster. Oh. Oh no. As. I have two attacks. Can I try again? <laughs> you try again. <laughs> uh, natural one. <laughs> again, you, you pull back and you try to jam it back in the hole and you. 
<laughs> Can we just, just say I panic and just start slice slashing? Slice <laughs> and slash down on it, and you rip away chunks of the trunk. It is pouring out, just like oozing out as appendages are starting to form. Oh, um, time for plan C. Why is run. there so much ooze in this place? Uh, I mean, it's a fairly large tree. <laughs> <laughs> it was black and you decided to walk towards it. Why? Why? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> don't know. How dare you tempt me with the Chinese? <laughs> An empty field's full of seemingly harmless sand. We've played too much D&D together. You know how to manipulate me. <laughs> All right. So, another appendage is going to reach out at you. And again, it is going to smack you, leaving this goopy black substance that is searing your armor. You're going to take six bludgeoning damage, plus... (laughs) 14 acid damage. I have three hit points left. All right. So I'm just like a burned, bloody... Set my armor list. Is it destroying my armor? Is that a thing? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Your AC drops again. All right. Just a bunch of holes in my clothing. So Blades you're at what? AC recognize 15. you. AC 15. Great. Oh, and this is permanent. Ugh, I need to get new armor. Yeah. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> what is Yancey doing? Can Yonce throw one of their daggers into the tree to kind of, like, plug up one of the holes? You can make an attack roll to attempt to do so. It was a yes or no. (laughs) 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 I'm going to toss my dagger. This is my lucky die. I got a seven. I think you might need to redefine luck. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you actually made me laugh. That was funny. Uh, so you whip a dagger, it lodges itself into the tree, <laughs> not in the hole. <laughs> but does it plug up anything? No. <laughs> <laughs> I think we should run. If we're running, grab my dagger. <laughs> <laughs> Sorelli, what are you doing? Can we actually run? You can. Um, one of you is in melee distance with it, which means they would take an attack of opportunity if they just ran. I have it covered. Don't worry. Okay. Oh, yeah. Let's get let's get out of here. I don't think anything <laughs> is gonna plug that hole. <laughs> this is a bigger leakage than the cemetery. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I don't know what to do. (laughs) Kinky. No, what a callback. What a callback. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Right. Sorelli, are you, you're just running? I'm getting the F out of here. here. Yeah. 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 All right. I Uh, mean, it's a tree. Brother. You could always lightning it. It's not like it can jump out of the way. (laughs) Which also means it can't chase us. Oh, (laughs) fair. Let's go. Why are you rolling? I don't, I don't know. know why we're rolling. <laughs> oh, just, and they've been good rolls. It's like really good rolls. I'm wasting, I'm wasting all of these rolls practicing. <laughs> practicing for when I practice matters. my rolls. Uh, that's what I do in my sleep. I <laughs> practice my rolls. You start running. You, yeah, you're like dashing away. You're like, fuck this. Uh, Blades, Blades what are you doing? We're going to go. I am going to cast Zephyr Strike. All right. Which negates all opportunity attacks until the end of... Oh, my movement doesn't provoke opportunity attacks for one minute. As I move like the wind. Grab my dagger so first. Nice. And then I get an extra 30 feet of movement. Oh, Ooh. yeah. So you cast Zephyr's Strike. As I a don't, bonus action. What does it do, like, flavorly? Fla- flavorlish? Oh. Flavorishly. Flavor, flaviliciously. Ooh. <laughs> um, you basically, like, see me start to vibrate. Kind of like... Like I'm there, Ooh, but not like yeah. a blur. Yeah. And then yeah, I kind of yeah. like shadow step run. Oh, so you are out of there so fucking fast. Just... 
Um, Go on. As <laughs> Yonsei starts seeing the oozes making their way towards Oh, yeah, them. I run directly past <laughs> Yonsei. Uh, so you sandbag Yonsei. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> and they I have three health um, oh, Okay Yeah they have a movement of 20 So they're going to make it to Yonsei And they are going to I wasn't 20 feet away Yonsei was like 35 <laughs> <laughs> I am the now the keeper of, of attack <laughs> Is 20 <laughs> feet <laughs> I don't think you all travel in a party with 35 feet uh, 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 apart. Suspension of disbelief. Per. Hmm, I don't know. I, I just know. do the dang attack on Yonsei. So yeah, they are going to Miss. lash out at you. Miss. Miss. We love amorphous blobs of black ooze in this campaign. I call that my ex. Decided. Ew. <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh no. Oh no. Um Oh shit, they both are gonna die. So that's gonna be fun. So you're gonna take twelve bludgeoning damage. We got nineteen so far. <laughs> Say what? Oh no, we let a charge die. Ooh. Oh no. Um, 34 acid damage. Oh, I And your AC is reduced by two. So, 12 plus 34. It's 46. So. I down. Success. I am on the ground. I need to start making some. Did you have your temp? Yeah. It points up? Oh yeah. gosh. All right. Shit, 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 so, shit. Uh, so, Yonsei just falls onto the ground. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh my gosh. So, Yonsei falls onto the ground, overwhelmed by the oozes that were brought over by blades. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I thought you could, I, oh I my gosh. Mistakes Sorelli. are made. Sorelli, what are you doing? Oh, well, I guess I I maybe hear this happening behind me, so we're, I because I'm running, <laughs> so I hear Yonsei go down and look over my shoulder. Blades, blades! We have to go back. We have to go back for Yonsei. Uh, all right. So we. You're unconscious. You can't hear it. <laughs> <laughs> but I feel it. So we turn around. Oh, God. Is there any way to get Yonsei out of here? How many are on her? Just two? Just two. You take one, I'll take the other. Okay. The tree is still oozing, though. Okay. You think you could just pick Yonsei up? Oh, I have a plan. Okay. Okay. Well, I guess I'll, at a minimum, attack one of them while you figure out your plan. Oh, it's figured out, sister. Okay. <laughs> I've heard Very that calm before. conversation happening. <laughs> we don't want to look to we're whispering. Oh, Yonsei, we're coming. We're coming. It's when we barely know her. <laughs> <laughs> kind of true. My pronouns are he, they. Oh, so sorry. <laughs> we barely know him. Yeah. Them. <laughs> I'm going to send a lightning bolt at the the one on the right. All right. 17. They still take damage. It's just half on a All success. Right, so half. still roll the 8d6. Okay. So half is going to be 14. 14? Mm-hmm. Wow. Okay. It is a significant hit to them. You see the lightning blast them. The ooze splatters out in the area. And... It splits into two. No! <laughs> oh, so you have to one-shot them. <laughs> ah. All right, Blades, now would be a good time for that plan. Oh. If, if you still think it'll work. Not as well because you were supposed to kill it, but sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, so there are three. There is one that is twice the size of the other two. Perfect. They're, they're <laughs> slimes from Final Fantasy. <laughs> um, all right. Um, I wasn't supposed to die like this. No. Of old age with their partner and seven kids. 
<sighs> if I were, I'm kidding. <laughs> oh no! What is going on over here? <laughs> right, right, right. I call upon the Fae for aid, <laughs> and I summon. You just see a incorporeal wisp of a fairy kind of rise out of the ground on top of Beyonce, but it's like dark and black and like super goth looking and has like a little loot because it's going to be like a metal. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, and then it's oh, the really? the metal the instrument. Yeah, metal loot. Yeah, it's going to start playing heavy metal music That's on its loot. <laughs> but it's a loot playing. Wow. Oh my gosh, I freaking love that so much. And then it goes, wow. And you deal for 1d6. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was bad. That was not digital. I now have two. It's health. something. It's two something. Health. Two health is a thing. So you Things regain consciousness up. with this incorporeal fairy going, wah, da, 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 da. and then I go, wah. <laughs> uh, and then I knock two arrows and shoot both the smaller ones. All right. So we'll do one of the smaller ones on the right. Mm-hmm. Is this thing going to attack me so uh, I gain cautious and then get unconscious? Probably. Again? That's a 23 oh, no. to hit. 23 hits. Uh, and that is eight piercing damage. It splatters. One. one down. The Ooh. other small one is a 22 to hit. Yep, that hits. Uh, for eight patient damage as well. Also gone. Oh, well done. Well so done, just, brother. Just the, the moderate sized one now. Perfect. That's all I got. Uh, See, so I had a plan. <laughs> um, it is that one's turn. Uh, so <laughs> it is uh, going to attempt to hit. Uh, Yonce. Uh, I pretend that I'm dead, though. Do you want to give me a deception check? Yes. Yes, I pretend that I'm still dead. I got a 22. (gasps) A 22. Oh, that's fun. I got a... Oh, I have a minus five. (laughs) 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 Um, So, you pop up... (laughs) Did you pop up and... (laughs) And So, in in Yonce's deception... Pops up and then like oh shit and then goes back down. Collapses After doing back the heavy down. metal, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> and plays dead. Yes. Talk uh, out to the side. So, how far away are the two of you? At uh, least sixty feet. Blades and Sorelli. Yeah, not not close. Right, because we we ran. You, you don't. You yeah. Okay, so it is going to leave Yonce and Perfect. it is going to start sloughing itself over to you. Cool. It only makes it 20 feet, so it still has quite some distance before it gets to you. Yonce, what are you doing now Yonsei, that you get another it D- has... 1d6 of healing. Oh! Every time you start your turn in its square. So now I have seven, because that was a plus five. So I am going to stay pretending dead for right now. <laughs> and... No, this is good. I'm going to cast False Life, Mm -hmm. which is 1d4 plus 4. Does False Life have somatic or verbal components? It says VSM. Yes, so it does. So that means that you have to say something out loud and do something with your hands. Can I just whisper and do this near my chest? No. (laughs) All right, so I'm not going to cast False Life. Can I dash? Yeah, you can. Yeah. So you are currently prone, so you use half of your speed to get up, but then you may dash. So that means... You can move your speed times one and a half. So 30 times one and a half is 45. 45. Yeah. Um, so I'm just going to dash 45 feet. Away? Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Dash thirty feet away. I'll dash thirty feet away. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not meta gaming. It's fine. Oh, okay. Sorelli, what are you doing? Oh, you you <laughs> just saw Yance get up and dash over. You see the ooze is slowly making its way over, but you also notice that the tree is still oozing, and there are more forms coming from it. Oh my. I mean, I think we still need to get out of here, but... Yonsei's far enough away. We can start running. <laughs> oh, let's at least... Let's at least try to take care of this medium-sized one. Okay. I guess it could split again, but... You know, <laughs> Yonsei's incredible <laughs> acting skills. Uh, yeah, they're quite good, aren't they? Might save them. Yeah, that weird, <laughs> that weird cry and then the 
Full body challenge. They may have trained at the, the school of Tufts scrolling. I don't know. I just I, I studied <laughs> acting. Okay. What? What? Continue. Okay. No, never mind. <laughs> okay. Of Tufts with, with, with craft and wisdom. Exactly. <laughs> 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 what was that? That <laughs> We got them with I wasn't trying to say it that way. <laughs> I thought it was unfair. No, it wasn't. Uh, I am very tired. Okay, continue. All right. Sorelli is going. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I'm going to uh, I'm gonna cast Ray of Sickness. It's a ranged attack. Wait, oh. do you have spell slots left? That's oh, a wait. good question. Oh, do. Have you yeah. been tracking oh, spell slots? Please tell yeah. me, because I'm not. Yeah, yeah first I level. Yeah. <laughs> No, yeah, you can do it. It's just going to be a little baby ray sickness. Little yeah. baby ray. Baby, just a little sickness. <laughs> just uh, a, little, just a, a ray of cold. <laughs> yeah, but it's only it's only an eight, I believe. You rolled an eight? An eight will hit. Eleven. Eleven will also okay. hit. It's plus six. You have a plus six. Oh, thank six. you. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it's an 11 hit. 11 oh, hit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember I hit with an 8 earlier? Uh, yeah. yeah. So I, easy it's just, to hit. you know, made it a little sick. All right. <laughs> you made it a little sick. How much damage do you do with your little sick? Fuck. It's, <laughs> it's going to be a 16. Is this poison damage? It is. Cool, 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 um, cool, cool. So it actually works. So you <laughs> see that it shrivels. <laughs> it starts to shrivel. It is... A much smaller than it was before, but still moving. Oh, but it doesn't split in two. Did not That's split good. in two. Good to know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In case you ever it also goop in the future. <laughs> it has to take a con- make a Constitution saving throw. Okay. okay. And if it fails, it's poisoned until your next turn. All right. So I have a feeling it's going to fail. I got a thirteen. Yeah, that fails. All right, so it is poisoned. You see it lets out a little cough. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Blades, what are you doing? I'm going to use my bonus action to move the heavy metal loot playing fairy towards Yancey. So you heal for another 1d6. So this heavy metal loot just starts running after. Yay! That's just, it starts gracefully floating. Gracefully. Like a fairy, <laughs> but then also screaming like it's... <laughs> it's melodic. Uh, well, uh, And keep in mind, this is on a loot, so it's not an electric guitar. It's... But like in heavy, heavy metal. <laughs> oh my god. Come on, Bardcore. Oh my god. Bardcore, yes! <laughs> um, if um, any of our listeners want to uh, mock up what that sounds, like <laughs> feel free to do so oh i'm sure um Chris i would be eternally grateful yeah so it's following you and, and then i'm gonna knock two more arrows and fire arrows. at the not so great looking one. Ooh, those are both 24 and 22 24 and 22 they both hit and that is skint boy 15 piercing damage 15 piercing <laughs> damage it splatters. It is so splattery. Uh, more are still pouring out of the tree. How splattery is it? Just so splattery. Oh yeah. Um, more pouring out of the tree though. What are you gonna do? What are you? What are you doing? Uh, we're gonna run. Okay, south, time to go. Southwest. Southwest, if you will. Come on, Diane West. Okay, that so you start running southwest. Because they can only travel 20 feet. Can you make me a dexterity saving throw, Blades? Why? Oh, because I'm still burning. <laughs> no, I'm just just, just uh, make a dexterity saving throw. No reason. I hate you. <laughs> ha! Dirty 20. All right. So you see a blur of motion in oh. the corner of your eye coming <sighs> towards you. <laughs> it goes to reach for the katana. I yeet the katana towards the tree. (laughs) (laughs) You see the motion coming towards you. It goes to grab for the katana. You lift it up and yeet it towards the tree. The blur of motion continues past you towards the katana, picks it up, flies towards the tree, slashes into the oozes pouring out, and wedges the katana into the tree. Are you serious? That's all we had to do. And blurs off into the distance. What you think you saw was, was it God? a small form. 
maybe four foot five with a flowy gray silvery cape and wings and maybe a crown of thorns hard to tell in all of the speed that it just moved past you but it is gone well that takes care of that I walk why limp towards same <laughs> <laughs> towards covered in acid towards blades and I slap them Oh no! <laughs> I only have three health left. Does it knock me out? How hard is this? It's a slap, not a punch, right? It's a bitch slap. <laughs> We're not gonna make you do, do death saving throws because Yonsei slapped you. Okay, cool. <laughs> so yeah, I, you so, get slapped. So ah, this is fucking serious. Why would you go to a black tree, pull out a katana? I just almost died. We are nowhere near Ilrune because of your freaking antics. Get it together. <laughs> right, you are? I, I look. I could have seen that coming. Oh, you saw a vision I, of I it, am, did you, sister? Well, it was a bit predictable without oh. the visions. Do I, e- <laughs> I look at both of them. Do you, either of you understand how important Upri is in my life? No. And how yes. much I miss her. Pull it together. You said you can help me find her. Help me find her. Please. And I just start to cry a little. I'm so exhausted. And then Yonce falls to her knees. His knees. And starts... (laughs) And starts kind of crying. Oh. Not kind of. It's crying. Yeah. Oh. Sorelli comes over and gives you a pat on on the shoulder. We really do want to find her. We really do. I know she means a lot to you. And I do believe that finding her is the key to everything else that is going wrong in this world. Oh. Did you say oh, that oh, before? Did I, did I not mention that? I don't fucking think so, Sister uh, Darling. <laughs> maybe it was in my head. But, yeah, no, this is for Yance and everyone. Oh. Yeah, we've, we've got to find her. Right. I will resist the future shinies. I'm so sorry. Thank you. May we lay down somewhere? I feel a bit woozy. And then I throw up blood. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Beyonce just keeps crying and then kind of you just see them nod off to sleep. So they're not moving. Ah, oh, perfect. This is a beautiful space and the, the goopy ground to take a long rest. <laughs> A long rest. In the um, middle of the day so that we travel at night. <laughs> Time has been quite uh, interesting. Oh, we missed opportunity. We should have... No, if we took a nap, if we took an eight-hour rest in the time dilation, it would have been like oh. 100 years. Never yes. mind. Yeah. <laughs> Thank goodness. That that everyone we know would be dead. Yeah. I would have had a lot to figure out in a very <laughs> short of <the> time. Uh, <laughs> I choose to lay down in the fetal position and hope it passes. Uh, I cast you wake up and the entire planet is gone. <gasps> be terrible. Oh. What? No, sorry, that would never happen. I would never do that. <laughs> Not yet. Uh, what is going on? What oh, is really I try to do. I want to cast prestigitation to just digitation. Yeah, there's a lot of consonants and vowels in the middle there, yeah. but everyone just says prestidigitation. Prestidigitation. To try yeah. and just clean up the I think we all mess come to the, the common consensus that the word is not pronounced how it's spelt. Okay. Prestidigitation. <laughs> it's, it's awful. <laughs> all right, you clean up the mess. Everybody uh, it looks all lovely. Kind of. I have, there's a bunch of holes in my hammer. I just have, I just <laughs> yeah. have a nip out. Those are permanent. I can't fix that. Yeah, that's permanent, unfortunately. A mending could potentially fix it if anybody had mending. We could try that. No, I don't, I don't have mending. All right. That's I don't, I don't fine. get cantrips as a ranger. <laughs> so you're at an AC 15 blades, and Yancey is an AC 13. Cool. You remember that because I don't know how to update DNTV. <laughs> Yeah, I'll remember that. 
so yeah, that's uh, you. You all wanna try to set up camp here, or take a short rest? Like, what? What are we? What are we all feeling? I feel like we should take a long rest. I think it's just time to sleep. While I do second that sentiment, we will then wake up in the middle of the night <laughs> to travel. I mean, you could take a long rest, but then also just like take a break. Just vibe. Just wait out the rest of the afternoon and go to bed. All right, we'll just vibe for the day. How far away is that meadow with the flute play? I'm just kidding. It wasn't too far that you passed the meadow. And with that, you start to hear a flute Fuck. in the distance. But this time, to the south. As in it got ahead of us? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Southwest! <laughs> I mean, um, all right, who wants to take first watch? I can. I'm the only one that didn't get covered in acid. Perfect, perfect. As you do that, I'm going to just cast false life on myself so I can get eight temporary hit points until we finish the long rest. All right, all right. No! No! <laughs> I just rolled a dice. Come down. You're not allowed. You're not allowed. <laughs> Quick, take, take the dice. No more. I hear that sound in my sleep. How dare you roll? Kendra cast throw hands. All right. So, um, I mean, what are you all doing during this time? So you go to try to take a long rest first, or are you going to do... Blades is going to knock the the fuck out for okay. the next eight hours. Um, are you setting up a camp, or are you just, like, laying down in a bush? I'm at least getting a sleeping roll out and just collapsing on it. It's the middle of the day. We don't need a fire. I'm not going to cook food yet. Cool, 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 cool. Blades collapses on their sleeping mat. Bed roll. Yonsei is just knocked out. I think the emotions and everything have just knocked her out. So no bed roll. (laughs) Just on the grass. Injured. She only had enough. Oh my god, why am I not getting my pronouns right? I don't know. <laughs> You're welcome. I think because everyone... I can't help you. She I done think, already didn't done <laughs> that. In real life, I call everyone, like, she, unless, like, they know otherwise. Same. Part is queer. Queerness, blah, blah, blah. You can read a book about that. Anyways, he just casts False Life and then just knocks out. All right. As one single tear floats from their eye as they fall asleep. Oh, this is going to be a so sad. continual thing. Um, I didn't say thug tear. I just said regular tear this time. Tear. Oh, I didn't know there was a specification last time. <laughs> last season, I kept saying thug tear. And you didn't know what that meant. So I had to be it. like, it's a black thing. <laughs> Once um, again, I am black, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Don't at me. Don't at me. Don't at me. <laughs> All right, so the two of you knock the fuck out, and Sorelli has first watch. It's true. You watch over your two other party members. Do either of you snore? In real life, no. Okay. Um, no, no snoring. Right. Nobody snores. Okay, fine. It's a peaceful watch. It's a peaceful watch. You listen to the birds chirp. You Wait. listen to the flute in the distance. I think Blade sn- snored in an early episode. You did. Some of them burning cinnamon buns. What do I mean? Oh, oh I sleep right. talk. You sleep you talk. Sleep talk. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. right. Oh, no, not these. Um, so you listen to the birds chirp. You hear the flute in the distance. And you occasionally hear Blades mutter something under his breath. And as the afternoon draws on, the flute continues to play. And it slowly blends into like a chorus of flutes. <laughs> mm. yes, this is quite nice. Yeah. Just kind of lolling the afternoon about. And several hours go by uneventfully. Does that mean we get our full health back? Who has second watch? I suppose I will. That interrupts my sleep, right? Yes. For if awake, y'all are doing for... watches, it takes twelve hours for everybody to get their eight hours of sleep. Perfect. So I will wake up 
and do second watch. <laughs> and on second watch, I would like to see if I can try to repair my scale mail. All right. I have an herbalism kit, so I'd like to try to find herbs that I could possibly mash up with a mortar and pestle and use as an adhesive. And then I want to use the clippers in the herbalism kit to take apart my water skin, which is leather, and try to like do a patch job. Nice. And, and maybe okay. unweave my rope. Cool, cool, cool. Use cool. that as thread. So on second watch. So now <laughs> Cibrelli wow. can go take a little nap. Second watch, you are gonna go try to find some herbs. Not too far. Not too far. You gotta you gotta keep track of what the heck's going on here. Give me a nature check as I roll another dice. Thirteen. Thirteen. I think with a thirteen we're gonna struggle to find what we need as an adhesive. Okay. Thread it is. <laughs> Um, so give me a sleight of hands to thread and sew a patch job. Dirty 20. All right. So we'll say that that is going to repair your armor enough to increase your AC up one. Cool. I'll I'll take it. (laughs) Every point of AC, it makes a difference. It does. Can you do that with mine? Uh, you got a water skin? (laughs) That I could rip apart. Um, the rest of your watch is rather uneventful. You hear the chorus of flutes in the distance as the sun begins to set. It is now time for third watch with Yonsei. Anything that you're doing while you're awake. Yonsei doesn't have a sewing kit. You better not. You better not roll that die. Don't do it. <laughs> I was like, is there a cat down here? Yeah, really What's happening? Yeah, really <laughs> Who are they yelling at? Um, I rolled a die. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to look at my armor. Yeah. And I can't really do anything because I don't have any mending stuff. Mm-hmm. So I'm just going to take it off since I'm on watch. So I have time. Throw it onto the ground and just take out a parchment and my little ink pen and just start kind of doodling to buy my time. Just kind of getting my frustrations out, trying to calm myself down, maybe do some Zentangles, which is a when you do a rep, rep, repetitious, is that a word? I don't care. Design and it helps you calm you down. That's what I do. Hmm. Therapy with Yonsei. Got yes. It. Yeah. Lovely. So, yeah, all three of your watches go uneventful, which is cool. Um, (laughs) Is it? (laughs) It is cool. It's so cool. And you wake up very early in the morning, given the time that you went to bed. (laughs) Around lunchtime. Is that long rest official? A long rest is official. Full health. (laughs) You get your spell slots back. You got your health. Yes, let the fuckery continue. Your AC still fucked. Uh, it's less fucked. Less fucked. It's only half fucked. <laughs> half Thank fucked. you. Mine's is still 100% fucked. <laughs> and by this time, the chorus of flutes has stopped. Just uh, hmm. They did not play out throughout the night. Wow, that's very kind of them. <laughs> Maybe it was just a wandering satyr. I hear they like their pan flutes. <laughs> it's Aurelian blades up. So Yonsei is going to go to them and say, listen, guys, um, I want to apologize for my outburst yesterday. I, I'm a little stressed and I feel like we keep getting distracted and we keep almost dying. And it feels like we're never going to get to Ilrun. We're never going to find her. And that's all I want in this world. Even if it means sacrificing myself, I just want her back. So I'm sorry for my outburst. But can we please, please try not to do anything stupid? And I look at Blades. (laughs) (laughs) Sorry, are we talking to me, love? Yonsei sighs and just (laughs) looks at... at, Was it important? Looks at Sorelli. And be like, you heard what I said, right? I did. I did. I know this has been hard. And who knew we would lose 
over a year or more, I'll speak to my brother in our own way and be sure that he gets the message of don't be stupid. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That's so fucked up because eloquent. it's applicable to real life too. <laughs> I need it. <laughs> Well, I'm not going to get involved with that. <laughs> Yonsei, um, Yonsei goes up, grabs them both, and just hugs them. Oh. oh. Wow. I lean into the hug and give you a little pat on the back. I give a very, like, head pat. Very, like, a little uh, head pat. I don't little like being pat. touched, but I'll allow it for now. And then I immediately let go. I'm like, all right, let's keep going. Let's. Yeah. What do you do this morning? Any, <laughs> your so breakfast? Try, uh, so try to remind me, I keep forgetting, I roll with advantage for all survival checks in a forest. Oh. Because that's my cho- uh-huh. chosen ranger yeah. thing. But I keep so forgetting. you definitely fucked that up uh, a for lot. like the first... 20 roll it's fine it's fine it's fine you almost died as a result but it's fine <laughs> blades is dumb as shit it's canonical it's fine <laughs> oh no oh no uh all right it's a funny forest so funny <laughs> <laughs> blades do you want to lead the way oh yes southwest it was yeah give me a survival check with advantage <laughs> I just want to double check the whatever. Because I wonder if nature rolls and stuff also are at advantage. Unsure. 17. A 17. All right. So. <laughs> we did a roll. We did a roll. It's fine. Rolls are fine. There's nothing wrong with the roll. <laughs> My hate when language is like rolls. I know. <laughs> so you start to head. Oh, I lied. It's, so it's not advantage. My proficiency bonus is doubled. Proficiency bonus is doubled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My bad. All right. Cool. So you begin to set out. <gasps> and I can't become lost unless by magical means. And... You are heading south. Oh west. my, my, how this would have been very, Four very different. Months. <laughs> <laughs> Does Blade say this aloud? <laughs> Blades is like, I, I just learned my mechanics. <laughs> I understand how I function now. Mechanically. While traveling for more, an hour or more, uh, difficult terrain doesn't slow us. I'm alert to danger, even if engaged in another activity. I can track <laughs> creatures. I can find twice the amount of food. Furious. Oh my God. <laughs> this is my plan. This is almost as bad as the chainmail monk. Um, <laughs> this is my first time playing a ranger. Wow. How was I throwing shade even though I wasn't a part of it? Oh my God. <laughs> my husband's going to have a strong word with you. <laughs> no, they're not. No, I don't think they are. They're um, not. <laughs> Anywho, oh, wow. um, you are now moving southeast. I guess you're not allowed to get lost, so we're gonna break all of the mechanics. And I mean, it's also a magical forest. It is a magical forest. That's fair. It's, it's fair. It's not a normal it's forest. Magical. Magical. We can do better. It's a funny forest. It's so funny. It's, so it's funny. a spicy forest at this point. <laughs> I only know normal mysterious forests. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> So we are moving southwest, you said? Southwest, yes. Southwest. And you Bad. are <laughs> making your way in that direction. Um, <laughs> you pass a boulder field. Super yeah, fun. We ignore it what? and keep going. Exactly. As the ground the begins the to go down, you start to descend. And you see off in the distance that the ground is beginning to descend into a swamp. Blades, how about a nature check? (laughs) You want to check out the swamp? How about a a a nature (laughs) check? We're going to ask you about your mechanics. The air is humid. (laughs) It smells funny. Uh, did you really get a net one? I did. I okay. did get a net one. <laughs> okay, so it's a swamp. Uh, you notice that there is a swamp ahead, uh, and it is in the direction that you are heading. Uh, Yonsei, um, do you remember a swamp on your way to Ilrune? 
I don't remember any of this. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> it was different last time. It was different it was last time. Different Another last year time. has also passed, so who knows how the very topography has changed. Experience. It's true, yeah. Yeah, that's true. It could be... Global warming. You know? <laughs> totally different climate out here. The pre-industrial global warming. <laughs> Ma- ma- could be magically caused, you know. Maybe there's an evil wizard out there who just wants to warm the planet. <laughs> Spraying hairspray <laughs> all in the air. I, I don't like the climate in my current location. And instead of moving, I'm I really, just going to heat up everything. I really want beach pro- beachfront property <laughs> at the cost of half the globe. Uh, oh, that's sad. <laughs> I know. All right, sorry. Continue. All right, we see a swamp. You see a swamp. You're descending into the swamp, and you see lots of things in the swamp. Can we go the around the swamp? So it sprawls out quite a bit. All right, we're um, going through the swamp. You could potentially go around it. Would, if you would like to go around it, um, it Sorry, I have an herbalism kit, too. Detour. <laughs> Today's episode is sponsored by <laughs> Knowing Your Mechanics. Today's reading also reading so your fun. own character sheet, because the DM can only do so much. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot to read Tool, so... And I do have a water skin. It's D and D Beyond's fault. It just automates so much that we don't need to see what we're actually yeah, doing. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, privileged. Yeah. I didn't do D and D in the '80s, so I didn't have to learn all this. Yeah, it's just like we can't do math <laughs> in our heads because we've always had calculators. That's right. your problem. <laughs> 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 and it's true. Uh, would you like to try to go around the swamp or through the swamp? That is entirely up to you all to decide. Going around will take longer. I mean, part of me is like, well, eh, potentially, it's, hard, it's already been a year. Longer. It could also be longer through the swamp, mm-hmm. given um, it's a swamp. Mm-hmm. It's a swamp. You know what? <laughs> uh, I want some change of scenery. Let's go on through the swamp. Oh, I've just flashed back to every time. <laughs> every <laughs> you time said, you let let's go this. through it. <laughs> <laughs> Fucked. <laughs> Right, Y'all so say so you weren't even here for all the other times. <laughs> <laughs> this has been a breeze. I'm going to... <laughs> okay. Yonsei's going to scream at Blades. Are you sure you want to do this? Yes. Remember Quicksand? <laughs> yeah, but it's a swamp. It's mud. Remember the There's random no tree sunk that almost killed both of us? Yeah, but I won't pull any swords out of swamp trees. I don't. Can I walk around? <laughs> you want to split the party? Pardon? Honestly, it's going to take days, if not weeks, to go around the swamp. It's a swamp. <laughs> yes, it is a swamp. C- correct. Blades nature check confirmed that. <laughs> <laughs> so, Riley, what do you think? Oh, I'm getting quite, quite tired of all of the, <laughs> of all of the nature. <laughs> and Nature's I usually exhausted. love nature. Uh, uh, too much of a good thing, sister. <laughs> can I take a closer look at this swamp to see if I can assess yeah, how gnarly of a traverse what this might be? do you normally assess swamps with? Are you a, a nature proficient person? <laughs> you should or, do a vibe check on this one. Um, I'm going to do, do a vibe, vibe check? check. Yeah. I do a vibe check? Okay, yeah. so give me our arcana roll. 13. A 13. Is it a magic swamp? <laughs> the residual magic of the swamp is no more or less than the rest of the forest. So the forest is kind of coated in this like flow of arcane and the swamp is no different. Nothing particularly strong in any direction. No inklings of a particular type of magic that has shifted. Just hmm. a swamp. Hmm. In the enchanted forest. Right, which could mean anything. But the vibe is generally swampy. The vibe is generally swampy. It is a swamp vibe. Hmm. I think at this point, Yonsei's always just going to refer to Sorelli when <laughs> Blades does something not smart. Wow. That was the best. That was the best. <sighs> so, sister, we're going through or around? You're the tiebreaker. Don't worry, I won't hold it against you. I say we go around. I take back what I said. <laughs> <laughs> All right, around it is. 
around and around and around it is. Um, <laughs> so give me another nature check as you begin to traverse survival? around. Survival check. And yep, no dice sorry, were thank thrown. you. No dice were thrown. So we're lucky. Uh, yet. No dice have been thrown yet. There will always be die to throw. So it's plus nine for survival. Mm. Wait, so are we still in the forest because we didn't go into the swamp? Yes. Okay. This might work out well. Mechanically, you are still in the forest. 18. 18. So you go around the forest, the swamp. You go around the swamp. It is a swamp. As established <laughs> previously. <laughs> this episode call title, It's a Swamp. It's a swamp. <laughs> uh, so you go around the swamp, and it is a rather large swamp. So you are going quite some time around it. Days? Blade, do you no, still have those snacks oh, okay. from Meredith? What? I was given snacks. Oh, oh. Weren't you? I, I suppose that was a long time ago now. Oh, yeah, the, there was a couple of loaves of bread, I remember. <laughs> Specifically asking for loaves of bread. It has been a year. Mm. Okay, no snacks. Okay, C- carry on. I mean, the snacks were on. Yeah, we have snacks. I hand you each a loaf of bread and some... Um, right. I start munching Some dried berries and... and nuts. Yeah. Perhaps a piece of jerky or two. Thank you. Wonderful. So you make your way around the swamp, and you get to a point that is on the other side of the swamp south of the from where you started at the other edge of the swamp and you break away from the swamp and continue on south Whew. hopefully we're getting closer to Aelrune and that's when you find yourself walking along a particularly wide path heading directly south where you need to go so why not walk down the particularly wide path? Yeah, this seems safe. And Sorelli, you notice in the bow of the tree is a little cat. <gasps> As you look up at it, it meows. <gasps> meow. I meow back. <laughs> you meow back. <laughs> As you look down, another cat is rubbing up against your leg. Meow, meow. A double meow. <laughs> <laughs> um, it is purring up against your leg. Can I purr back? <laughs> I probably don't know. How. <laughs> purr. Purr. <laughs> I, I'm overwhelmed with the cuteness of the cats, so. The rest of you start to notice that there are cats all along this path, poking out of the shrubs and oh, no. hanging from the boughs of the trees. Oh. So cute. Yonsei's not a fan of cats, so mm. Yonsei is a little freaked out. Guys, I think we need to keep moving. This feels a little weird. I mean, it is quite a large number for this colony, but they must have some sort of food source to sustain themselves. I don't know. I think we need to keep going. Do they look well? Like, do they look well fed? Are they most like? Are they really skinny? Give or, me an insight check. Or gross. Are they evil? Are they, are they devil cats? <laughs> Give me a vibe check. Give me a vibe no. check. No. <gasps> 21. 21. They actually look well fed and groomed and taken care of. Yeah. Oh. I think someone might own these cats. Do any of them have collars? Or? No, no collars. All right. Maybe it's just a healthy colony then. I think we're fine to just keep going. Let's keep going. Yeah. They probably think we have food. All right. You continue on down the path, eventually leaving the row of cats behind. Oh, they stop following us. Yeah, eventually. Uh, oh, and cats. you continue on south through the forest. Give me another survival check. 21. All right. Eh. And they're just dice rolls. Yeah. Remember when I took 42 damage? (laughs) (laughs) You mean. So as you continue on through the forest, you pass over a small creek with flowers on its bank. You feel the warm breeze against your skin as the sound of a flute again begins in the distance. Sorelli perks up. South of you. Well... 
I mean, I guess if we bump into them, see who's been playing that flute, or do we want to try to go around? Um, the one thing that you have successfully avoided, <laughs> the flute. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we might as well. Aren't you curious if it's a, you know, a perky, pesky little satyr? I mean, when you say it like that, let's Perhaps go they around. Have wine. <laughs> oh. <laughs> right. Sorelli, you're the tiebreaker. We go mostly around. <laughs> but thighs. stay close enough to hear the music. Mm-hmm. Ah. Okay. Uh, okay. Good plan. So, so we travel we know keeping which the music equidistant it's in. from us, basically. We circumnavigate the flute equidistantly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. And would you like to go east or west around? Let's go back east. Okay. Wait, which way do we go around the swamp, east or west? <laughs> That's your choice. <laughs> Whichever way we went, well, I want to go back the other way to try to, like, okay. level to it out. To try to, like, level it out. Yeah. Cool. You can do that. So you begin to circumnavigate the sound of the flute. Similar to last night, it begins as a single flute and grows into a small quartet. There's multiple satyrs, please. Can we go check it out? We can be quiet. No. (laughs) (laughs) Um, And you begin to walk around. It then, the sound moves to your left, and then eventually you put it behind you. And you continue on to the forest. Whew. That was a close one. I mean, I've never met a musician I didn't like. Just putting that out there. I've met many. Ah. We have lived two very different lives, you would say. (laughs) That indeed. And you continue on until (laughs) the trees begin to clear. Oh, no. In the canopy. And what you're left with are rows of twisted trunks. Branches bare of leaves, and as you get closer, they have an oddly humanoid shape to them. Well, okay, they look like persons that have been turned into trees. Grandmother Willow, you begin to inspect them a little bit. Can I tell if the, they're sick? They're sick, like with blight, and that's why they don't have any leaves. Uh, give me a medicine check. Really, it's medicine to see if they have blight. Yes. <laughs> Do I get my extra proficiency bonus? Because they're trees and I love them. No. Damn it. That's not how that works. Uh, it's a nat one, but <laughs> it's, it's a nat one. Uh, it's a seven because I have plus six in medicine. So you begin to inspect the trees. The more you look at them, the more humid they appear. You see the faces pressed into the wood. The cheekbones, the sunken sockets of an eye, a nose protruding from the face, and their long spindly branches bent at what seem to be elbows. Uh, perhaps but we you should do not double know back. what ailment <sighs> affect them, if any. Dare I might say it, I suggest we make like a tree and leave. <laughs> Yonce rolls his eyes. <sighs> Everybody rolls their eyes. <laughs> Even the trees roll their <laughs> eyes. The trees, because they have eyes. The trees have eyes. And they Ooh, roll. That'd be a fun one-shot title. The trees have eyes. Yeah, but not right now. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> ADHD. <laughs> so, yeah. Do we recognize the faces on the trees? Oh, or are no. they just kind of generic human looking faces. Yeah, they specifically human or Yeah, like... you don't really recognize them. There's several humans and one that looks like they may have been an elf. I still think we should I think we should turn around and that's me <laughs> saying this. I don't want to be turned into a tree, especially a sickly looking one. What a miserable existence. I agree. Oh, but real quick, I'm going to pull out a dagger and stab one of the trees to see if they're alive. <laughs> This escalated quickly. (laughs) I don't want to become a tree. Let me stab it. (laughs) You stab a tree. It stabs into the wood. (laughs) 
Play your same steps. <laughs> <laughs> oh, perfect. Yep. The, n- no life left in here. All right. Out we go. No one needs to be rescued. That's what I was checking. By stabbing them. <laughs> what are y'all doing? We're leaving. You just stab the tree? Okay. You're you're leaving? Yeah. yeah. You're going happening. what direction? Are no you, goop. Are just you just regular... continuing on past them or are you turning around? We're turning around and circumnavigating the death. <laughs> <laughs> the trap. The No, we should go through. Not everything is a trap. Yeah, no, I'm I'm not convinced that these people don't need our help. I mean, it looks like they've been trees for a while. Hmm. Perhaps whatever caused this has long passed. Sorelli gets closer to the elf tree. Okay. And puts a hand on the elf's cheek. Okay. Can you hear me? <laughs> she <laughs> speaks to the elf. You place your hand on his cheek. Uh, and you begin, begin to speak to it. You pause a moment, waiting for a response. And you don't get any. Just the rustling of the wind through the leaves of the surrounding trees. Hmm. Maybe it can't speak, so I'm going to use detect thoughts and see if I can hear any thoughts from the elf. You cast detect thoughts. And that is, again, like it's an AoE, everything in the area. You start to hear the surface thoughts. And they have to do a... A roll. A wisdom save. Wisdom DC save? 14. Okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So... Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Mistakes were made! You cast attack thoughts. And I will need Yonsei and Blades to also make their wisdom saves. Oh, right. Oh, right. Yeah, I just... I don't even Or bother. just allow. You can allow. Your I got thoughts. a 16. That's successful. I so wonder if that tree felt save. it when I stabbed it. Um, so <laughs> you at first only hear Blade's thoughts, which you're super familiar with. I and swear that katana smelled normal. Quickly brush those aside as you start to hear faint screeching, almost like. A person who has been screaming for so long that they've lost their voice. Mm. Crying out. And you start to make out words. No, we, he was. <laughs> that was incredible. We we have to save. We have to save the elf and all these people. What? They're in there. They're still alive. Blades. What? How, Blades. I, we we have to redeem ourselves. But this I sounded it. It didn't move. We have to redeem ourselves for all the things in the past. This is our chance. We have to save these tree people. Okay, sister darling. Any <laughs> proposals on how we do so? Ah, uh, good question. They weren't affected by a uh, illness. Perhaps it is magical in nature. Are I'm, you getting I anything? So. Beyonce, do you know of any spells that could cause such a thing? To be honest, no. I don't really have that knowledge of something that can do something like this. Um, I cast Eldritch Blast. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll blast you out of there. Hold on. <laughs> I'm I'm going to... I want to whisper a message to the elf. All right. What do you say? We're here. We're here. How do we, how do we get you out? Tell us what happened to you. We, yes, we want to. We want to help. We at a bathhouse? <laughs> no, stop. No. no. This is a family-oriented no. podcast. God fucking no. damn it. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I had to. It was so funny. <laughs> As you were. 
Okay. I'm gonna collect myself for just a moment. <laughs> <laughs> Don't cut that out. <clears throat> so dark. So dark. It's coming. It's coming. It's just as I feared, the darkness. It's still here. <sighs> Let us go. Let us go! <laughs> sorry. So sorry. So, so, so sorry. Oh, no. <laughs> Sister, are you getting anything? What are they saying? The darkness has them in its grasp. As in the darkness? Yes. As in... The darkness that... Your darkness. Oh. (laughs) Or like, (laughs) is it a different darkness? Can I I let them go? No, no, that's not quite what I mean. I mean like, you know, the darkness that follows. Oh, yes. I do. I think it's connected. I have no reason to doubt you. <laughs> <laughs> What's well, happening? What's should going we on? be running then, not staying? Oh, oh, that dark. No, no, it's not that darkness. It's the darkness. The one that plagues and leaks. It's the leaky darkness. <laughs> the yes. leaky darkness. Got yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Not the following darkness that tickles your ankles sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't think you saw that. Oh, I mean, I didn't. Shit. It's not canonical. <clears throat> so I guess I've still got this connection, this communication yep, you channel still with the elves. voices. And they, I, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm not going to do that voice anymore. Um, <laughs> or else I won't be able to talk the rest of the today. Um, but you start to hear this like swelling of screechy, scratching voices calling out to you for help. And they are incessant asking for your aid. They keep referencing something coming, something getting them, something taking them, something holding them. Trapped, unable to see, unable to feel, unable to hear. All of them completely isolated from anyone and anything. Hmm. Even each other. You start to notice they cannot sense each other. They're all in their own prison. Mm. It's terrible. Mm. It's like COVID. (laughs) (laughs) Oh Oh, no! A little bit. Oh no! Topical! I can smell. Wow. So we should make burn an orange and throw it at the trees. (laughs) (laughs) That's how we care. That's how we care, though. That's after they. Right. Well, sister, any suggestions? I feel like you're the expert here. That's right. Are, hmm. they, are the trees telling you anything useful? They seem to be quite trapped. Clearly. And, and they have a warning for us. Oh, sh- what, uh, the darkness is coming. Oh, right. Um, Does this have anything to do with Upri? Possibly. You have not heard anybody say the name Upri. Well, how about we take a stroll on through, and if we see a, come upon a means to help, we do so, and if not, we can just hit it on the way back and see what we can do then. I send one more message to the elf to say, we'll be back. We'll be back for you. We must fight the darkness. They continue to call out for your aid. Oh, this sits heavy with Sorelli. Suddenly she wants to get away from the screaming and away from the voices. And there's a bit more haste in her step. Yonsei tries to keep up. I hear nothing, so I just try to diligently look for something besides the tree figures amongst them. Mm -hmm. Anything occult or of that nature. Give me an investigation. Bloody hell. So good at investigating things. Eleven. Eleven. Okay. You begin to examine the forest floor around these trees, uninhibited by the screeching voices, because they're not happening in your head. Uh, And (laughs) (laughs) 
You don't find anything. Perfect. Just fallen twigs, leaves, dirt. Just your regular old detritus. Yeah, best I can guess, it seems like this happened a long time ago. This has been here. So, what's a few more weeks, if not months, you know? uh, If not ever. Yeah, right. Time is relative, so... Let's keep going south. All right. We press on. You press on. You leave this behind you just to nag you in the back of your head for eternity. Uh... (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> wow. Ooh. Ooh, definitely not heavy. What a burden, what a burden. We have no I'm means of helping need another now. survival check from Blades. 13. All right. So you press on to the south, and Blades is the first to notice that the ground has begun to gray. As if it's being desaturated, sapped of color. You look at the shrubs and trees around you, and their leaves are browning, falling to the ground. Everything seems as if it's sapped of life and the further you press on in this direction more so this becomes we must be getting close um can i tell if this is a disease of blight does it seem supernatural give me a nature check Six. (laughs) (laughs) It seems like something has killed the trees. Uh, Oh, no. (laughs) They haven't done it to themselves. Good um, to know. But the rest of you begin to notice. So would Sorelli like to make an arcana roll? Yes, I would. Or Yonsei and Yonsei. Yonsei, do your arcana roll. Four. Four. That is a 22. 22. So as you begin to press deeper into the dead part of the forest, Yangtze, you start to feel it. This energy building. And at first you don't recognize it. But slowly it seeps into your mind and you remember where you've felt this power before. Oh my God. You sense the portal. Yonsei takes a knee, like it's very heavy. So I'm like, oh, Ooh, uh. <sighs> Yonsei, you're right. Do you, do you need a break, some water? <clears throat> I think we're close. (laughs) To Ilrune already. I've only felt this energy one other time. And it was when Upri was walking through that portal. (sighs) We must be getting close. All right, let's proceed with caution then. Together. Quietly. I slowly lift myself up. You lift yourself back up to your feet and stabilize yourself. And you, the three of you, begin to press on further. Quietly. Making stealth rolls. (laughs) I got a four. A four. Fifteen. Fifteen? Thirteen. Thirteen. All right. So you start pressing on further south and the world around you continues to shift as everything is dead the color sapped from it 
what was browning leaves are now barren trees and gray trunks. And you continue on. This goes on for some time as the environment continues to shift. Grayer and grayer and darker and darker. Everything starts to kind of muddle together as the contrast of color is all but lost. And that's when the ground begins to squish. <laughs> we ended up walking through the song after all. <laughs> as you notice that this gooey black ooze is pressing out of the soil as you step into it. More goo. And you begin to trudge through this goopy soil with every press of your foot into the ground, more of it oozes out around your foot. Does it injure us in any way? No. Okay. That is not acidic, luckily. Mm. It's not burning your shoes, no. Are we the only living creatures in this part of the forest? Like, do we hear any birds? Do we see any animals? The forest has fallen silent. You do not hear or see anything. Well, that's not good. That's creepy. Do you press on? I mean, we're in the thick of it now, so... Mm -hmm. I feel we must. To the heart of the darkness. (laughs) Wow, (laughs) we're... And I'm the one who makes bad decisions. (laughs) You continue to trudge on through this gushy soil as... I kind of like it. (laughs) (laughs) No! Why am I playing in mud as a kid? For some reason I just thought it was a song. Do you want to take your boots off and (laughs) let it sink into your toes? Yeah, I feel it between my toes. What if it's acidic? You know, I jump jump a few times as if jumping in a puddle. I'm like kind of taken back to my childhood. Sorelli, pull it together. Oh, sorry, sorry. (laughs) Uh, So you continue trudging on through this goopy soil and you see a mass ahead of you kind of shrouded by the twisted trees but as you continue getting closer you start to notice it's like a big ball of twisted gnarled vines reaching up over a massive tree And you notice something particular about this tree. It doesn't appear to be alive in the sense that you would expect with lush green leaves, but something about it is animated. There's color, for one. It's kind of a blacky purple trunk (gasps) with veins of bright green running up towards it and you see a faint green glow coming out from behind all of the brambles but the brambles have grown up onto the tree and it's hard to see much else was this in your vision sister i believe it was i think we've arrived Yancey, have you been here before? Yancey, as you look towards the tree, you survey the surrounding area, and you notice beneath the brambles ruins of buildings. Wait a minute. No, this, this, this couldn't be. Wait. 
that explains everything. Um, I think we're in Yovrun. What? I thought you said it was a village. It was. Oh, gods. Beyonce, how can this be? What happened? I, 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 I don't know. And that's where we'll end the session. (laughs) 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 And that is where we will put a pause on today's story. Thank you all for joining us as we trudge through this rotting landscape and plunge into the abyss. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Shadows of Prophecy and join us next time to find out the source of this vile light. I want to give a special thanks to JCH and Chris B, our fabulous patrons keeping the candles lit here at Goblin Forge. Your support has meant the world to us, and we are so grateful for your absolute generosity. I would like to thank Scrubcast for some incredible sound mastering, music, and effects. They have been so easy to work with, and I highly recommend checking them out if you're ever in the need of audio editing, especially for their epic music and effects design. I would like to thank our players this evening, Kendrick, Russell, and Nicole. I am so happy to have you in our cast, and can't wait to hear what goopy adventures we'll find ourselves in next time. Our theme song is written by my brother, the chill electronic vapor soul artist Lusk. You should check out their most recent single, Gus. This has been a Goblin Forge production. Please follow us on Instagram at goblin underscore forge underscore TTRPG. Join our Discord, and if you really love us, show us some support by becoming one of our fabulous patrons at patreon.com slash goblin underscore forge, where you can find free bonus content like handouts, encounter maps, and even adventure guides to run your own horrific campaigns or one-shots. Shadows of Prophecy is a fully personally financed project and our first foray into the TTRPG arena. Any and all support is greatly appreciated. And at the very least, please give us a 5-star review on your podcast platform of choice. This is how we get the word out about our podcast. And we do love sharing it with you all. Thank you and tune in next time for more fun squelching noises and a whole lot of uncanny chaos. <laughs> <laughs>